So what do I do about algae? So every lagoon grows algae. It's just part of the lagoon treatment process, unfortunately. Um, algae grows because you have a nutrient source in the bottom of the lagoon, and that's your sludge blanket. Now, that sludge blanket has phosphorus, has nitrogen, has all sorts of good things that you would find in any of your hardware store fertilizer. And at the end of the day, algae is a plant. And so when you give a plant those kinds of nutrients and you give it sunlight like you do in the summertime, you're going to grow algae. It's just part of lagoons. So how do you treat it? So one of the ways is people use chemicals, you know, and they basically kill the algae. They nuke it. The problem is, is that that doesn't treat why it's happening. That's just a band-aid. It's like taking a painkiller when you have a headache. There's a reason you have a headache, right? You're dehydrated, you're hungry, whatever the reason may be. And when you take a painkiller, you're just, you're just masking the symptoms of the greater problem that's at play. And so if you really want to treat algae, you need to treat the sludge blanket, right? And you do that by, you can add you know, bio-augmentation, which will help you break down the sludge blanket. You can add aeration and mixing, which will help to suspend some of these volatile solids in the water column. Uh, you can do, um, you can cover the lagoon, which again is only a treatment a symptom a solution, but it does help somewhat to uh, at least lead you not to have this, the problems with algae, but ultimately you really have to deal with that sludge blanket and that sledge blanket is where it's all coming from.